Now with this export style radio, I'm using my old faithful Astatic. Now as everybody knows, these have got quite a lot of gain. I mean, it's on FM at the moment. If I just switch it over. One, two, three, four. And before anybody panics or complains, there's a dummy load connected there, so I'm not actually broadcasting. But as you can see, how much gain there is on that particular mic. Is it end stopping the needle? So, what I wanted to do was use that style microphone or this one, which is also a ceramic cartridge on this radio. Now anyone who has one of these will know that you get this rubbish dynamic microphone with it which has got up and down scan buttons and RJ45 connector which to all intents and purposes is one of these. It's like a network cable for your internet. So in order to use an old style round microphone on this you have to make something like that which is an adapter. The lead that comes out of there is an RJ45 which is that. So if I take the microphone off so then you need some sort of RJ joining block so you plug that into there then you put your mic adapter into that one and then you can get your round connector and plug that into there and now the only problem is there's about six feet of cable with all these joins in it which is a bit of a pain so I came up with an idea Now before anybody says, why can't you just plug that straight into the radio to keep the lead short? Well, the answer is no, because that plug and that plug are quite a bit different in length. And if you try and get this in there, you will never be able to bend it round enough to get the front panel back on. So. The answer is no, you can't plug that straight into there. You've got to use their original cable and then stick something on the end of it. Now my idea was this, which started out as a die-cast box. I've put an RJ socket in that end, an RJ on the front, a round mic socket or plug as you might call it on the front and the up, down and fast scan buttons and also an LED there to show power because that will actually run off of the radio so what you do then you take take your lead from the ASU plug that into there which hopefully it will lock in, that's it. And then you've got this arrangement. Now if I switch the radio on, we've got power, got power indicator there. And all you need to do is plug your round old fashioned microphone into there. Now we have this arrangement, as you can see, if I press the up scan, down scan, and the fast button in the middle, if I press that, the little man appears there, you can just about see him. So on fast scan,
and then you can put your original crappy microphone in there if you want or your ceramic cartridge one in that one so now I have my old microphone this one plugged into there which goes into there and now with the aid of a frequency meter if I transmit old-fashioned microphone, new style radio. And then if I change this back to SSB, and use this, we are connected to an end-fed long wire. wait for the fan to stop which is really annoying and uh, running about 5 watts through a long wire no probs 